Welcome back, y'all. Now, I know that those of you who follow us regularly will have already seen this project, but it was kind of buried in there with some others, so I wanted to put together a short video just to highlight not only how simple this greenhouse was to build, but also the fact that it didn't cost us anything. We made it out of supplies that we had lying around, so hopefully somebody who has the same notion will see this video and take inspiration from it. So this project begins Halloween day. Um, we started with a piece of fence that we had used to block the garden off from the rest of the yard. Once we got one side stapled in, we just kind of had to see, you know, what height we thought the potatoes would grow to based on what they had gotten to last year. Josh clips them all free. We've got both ends secured, now we just have to cover it with plastic. We used 55 gallon trash bags for this. I was originally going to cut them open so that I had twice as much plastic, but the bags were a lot bigger uh, than we thought that they would be once they were opened up all the way. So instead of cutting them, we just left them whole, keep it from tearing and things like that, you know, if the wind were to kick up. We used Gorilla Tape to get the two stuck together. folded up the edges and put a piece of Gorilla Tape across that just to kind of help reinforce things and uh, make that edge a little bit stronger. And that'll at least help keep it from tearing um, out from under these screws. For this we just took some screws that we had lying around and uh, I got some paint sticks from work. I work in a paint store. That's why it says PPG at one end. <laughs> um, and uh, we basically just wanted to go right for the very edge of the plastic. And then we just cover the Gorilla Tape with something a little bit more waterproof and a little bit stickier. This is going to help keep the Gorilla Tape in place because I've had uh, experience in the past with Gorilla Tape letting go of plastic. So this is actually like a ducting tape and it's highly waterproof. Um, it's just once the plastic was actually nailed to the frame I didn't really have a way to get in there and press it down flat so that was kind of a challenge. For our two open ends, I'm going to cut one bag open. So far we've only used two bags. This will be our third bag. We originally intended to use four, um, but again, we just didn't realize how big the bags were going to be, and uh, the dogs snuck up on me. Did not know they were there until Murphy bumped me. So once we've got that opened up, we're just going to separate it into two pieces, and uh, each piece will close off one end of the house. This part was pretty specific because you really want to lay your plastic inside the line of the greenhouse itself. Um, and you'll see why here in a minute. So when you set the brick down, it needs to line up with that edge because once the plastic is folded up, you don't want there to be any gaps or anything like that. By setting the bricks even with the edge of the house, we get a tight seal when we lift that plastic up and put it in place. Cut off the excess plastic, put a couple pieces of tape to hold it in place. And here I'm just kind of curling over the excess plastic where it goes around the curved body and uh, covering that entire section with Gorilla Tape to keep that edge nice and sealed up. And again with our ducting tape, just going around that Gorilla Tape. I did realize at some point that the uh, greenhouse was a tiny bit crooked near my knees, so I just kind of leaned into it and straightened it up a little bit. Uh, I know somebody out there who's watching this is highly annoyed by that, and trust me, I was annoyed too when I was editing this, but I have fixed it. It is perfectly symmetrical since then. 